Hello there. Well, this is just a very quick video, uh, more than anything, to point to my latest article because things are happening quite quickly. Uh, in my last video, I talked about a fascinating leak from Watchtower in which the announcements for the annual meeting have been given more than a week in advance so that everyone knows more than a week in advance what's going to be said uh, at the annual meeting. The, the headline is that there's more cutbacks in the magazines. The magazines um, are now a fraction of what they were in 2005 because Watchtower needs to save money on printing. And the Theocratic Ministry School is also going to be replaced by um, a new feature in the meeting that will focus on presentations for the ministry. So lots and lots of changes. The organisation is so different from the one I remember. And it's interesting that um, even if I wanted to go back to being a Jehovah's Witness, which obviously I don't, but even if I did, I could never have back the memories of being a witness that I have. Because if I went back to the organisation now, or specifically next year when these changes come into, into play, um, it will just be completely different from the experience I remember. So I can't have my experience back and neither can ordinary Jehovah's Witnesses. It's gone forever, I'm afraid, because the organisation is changing so quickly. But I wanted to talk about a fresh leak because um, I've been contacted again by those inside Bethel, this time about um, Warwick, about the changes and the fact that uh, Bethelites are being laid off. These uh, layoffs are apparently going to start in the winter of 2016. So as of uh, the winter of 2016, uh, potentially thousands of Bethelites are going to be shown the door and this is interesting because it will coincide with Warwick becoming operational because Warwick is supposed to be up and running by the beginning of 2017. So uh, essentially the governing body is throwing everything at Warwick. Uh, I'm being told that they've cancelled all building projects apart from Warwick because money is so scarce and they want to make sure Warwick gets finished. What's interesting is that when these announcements were made at morning worship last Wednesday, the letter announcing these changes specifically mentioned the May JW Broadcasting episode in which Stephen Letts said that there was a shortfall between income and expenditure. So these changes are being influenced by money. Uh, Watchtower is already trying to put a little bit of a spin, on, a spin on it by saying that it's to do with advancing the ministry. So, for example, they're saying, well, we want to free up Bethelites so that they can go into the preaching work. And they're even saying to Bethelites, some of whom are in their 40s and 50s and have no education or uh, homes to go to, they're telling them that they need to become regular pioneers. So the spin is already that this is not to do with money, this is to do with the ministry and the speeding up of the preaching work, when in fact, um, the Watchtower, the governing body, are, are essentially already admitting that this is to do with money and the fact that despite what Sam Hurd said in the August JW broadcasting episode where he thanked people for their donations, despite that, there is a financial problem. Watchtower is in crisis financially. And its main concern now is getting their Mecca uh, Warwick finished. And there's an interesting point I make or that has been brought to my attention from Bethel um, in my new article where it shows that one of the pages from JW.org has been removed. Why? Because it shows a picture of a diver working on a valve. Um, and the diver is not a witness, he's a hired contractor. So money has been spent on, on this diver who's a, who's a non-witness to come and replace a valve. And the purpose of the valve is to be able to lower the level of the lake at the touch of a button in case there's a hurricane. So the governing body is more interested in spending money on a remote controlled lake than its own Bethelites who are being turfed out uh, next winter and it's even closing down the laundry, housekeeping and um, uh, kitchen facilities of Bethel. I don't think it's gonna happen in the headquarters, but certainly in lots of Bethels around the world, key uh, departments are gonna be closed down. 
So apparently Bethelites and at least some Bethels will have to eat from a buffet and watch morning worship from their rooms. Uh, these are quite drastic cutbacks purely so that the governing body can have its lakeside retreat uh, with a remote controlled lake. That apparently is the priority. Um, so there's more in my article, please check it out. But I really do think we are seeing some very fascinating times unfolding. I think we're moving towards a situation where all you basically have is, is Warwick as like a mecca for Jehovah's Witnesses who are still faithful to the governing body to go to um, and have their religious experience. And perhaps um, a few kind of hubs in, in city centres where um, congregations who are again still loyal to the governing body can come together and and have their meetings but i think that the organization is now shrinking at such a rate um that it's it's quite phenomenal really and it'll be fascinating to see how things unfold but in the meantime uh, i'll continue to bring you information as i receive it and again i reach out to anyone who's inside bethel uh, so please contact me. I do understand your predicament and I do guarantee you full anonymity. So I hope you've all found this short video interesting and thank you for watching.